Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report, the upgraded Pinaka MK1 user enhanced rocket system EPRS surface to surface extended range missile was flight tested by DRDO and in the army at Pokhran firing range in Jaisalmer district on Wednesday and Thursday. Accuracy and consistency were achieved by rockets meeting all trial objectives satisfactorily. With this trial, the initial phase of technology absorption of EPRS by industries has been successfully completed and industry partners are ready for the user trials and series production of the rocket system. In simple word, this trial of Pinaka MK1 rocket having EPRS warhead and produced by industry partners to whom DRDO has transferred technology has been completed. At present, there are two firms, which is Munition India Limited (MIL) and Economic Explosives Limited (EEL), a subsidiary of Solar Industry, to whom DRDO has transferred technology for Pinaka rockets. The DRDO, along with Army, conducted these trials of enhanced Pinaka made by private sector with various world capabilities. So, this test must be for the rockets made by EEL. In the month of April as well, Pinaka MK1, EPRS and Pinaka Area Denial Munition Rocket System were successfully flight tested by DRDO and Army at Pokhran firing ranges. A total of 24 EPRS rockets were fired for different ranges. The test was part of the initial phase of technology absorption of EPRS by industry, which has to be followed by user trial, which we have witnessed in this week. So the EPRS is the upgraded version of Pinaka variant, which has been in service with Indian Army since the last decade. The system has been upgraded with advanced technologies enhancing the range to meet the emerging requirements. DRDU has developed various versions of Pinaka MVRL. These are Pinaka MK1 having a range of 37.5 km, which has been further extended to enhanced Pinaka MK1 having a range of 45 km. DRDU has also developed Pinaka Mark II having a range of 60 km, Gaia Pinaka which is based on Mark II with a range of 75 km and the last one is 122 mm extended range rocket with a range of 40 km. Pinaka rockets can achieve speed between 3.6 to 4 Mach. On 15th June, the solar industry has submitted proposals to manufacture two high mobility long range precision rocket system Mahesh Rarastra 1 and Mahesh Rarastra 2 under the Make 2 category of Make in India initiative. Under Make 2 initiative, the company will have to build prototypes without the funding support from government. Mahesh Rarastra 1 will be multi barrel guided rocket launch system with a range of 150 km, while Mahesh Rarastra 2 will have a range of 250 km. Both of them are going to be guided rockets. The 250km range rocket is going to be based on Brahmos missile but without a seeker. The army version of Brahmos missile does not require a seeker as most of its target is going to be a stationary one like bunkers, command center and ammunition depot. The cost of Brahmos missile is Rs 40 crore whereas the new 250km rocket or missile proposed by solar industry is priced at just Rs 8 crore. But seeker can also be deployed with additional cost of Rs 3 crore but still much cheaper than Brahmos. While Brahmos is a silver bullet of Indian Armed Forces, its higher cost will be unsustainable in prolonged war. Brahmos can carry a warhead of 250kg which is less but Maheswaraz 2 can carry a warhead of up to 375kg. Once this is developed, it will become the indigenous high mars and even better in many aspects this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector